Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are discussing the tricks for of the slight edge. So stay tuned. Let's get into it. Guys, so chapter four is Master the Mudane. And Jeff Olsen is talking about the top 5%. And we all know who the top 5% are. They are the CEOs of Facebook and Instagram, even though they're the same people now. Um, all these big companies, they make money. They, they have so many goals. They accomplish the goals. They're super successful. They do what they need to do in life to get to where they want to go in life. So this chapter is basically examining what do the 5% do that we do not do in our daily lives. So he goes and asks you guys, which is a great question actually, because a lot of people don't think about this because the good saying and a good mantra to think about is do you surround yourself with people that you can relate to number one and number two that they present the type of success that you would like to present to yourself because if you surround yourself with successful people most likely you will be successful yourself so it's always good to have those type of people around you which is why in any type of journey it's very important to have a great su support group if you can find one especially within your family or within your inner circle. Um, but sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes some, some people don't have that. So you have to actually go out and look for it. And it's always good to have somebody in your corner, someone nudging you to do better things, someone who can speak positive affirmations of life to you. And it's always great to have those people. But he asked you, how many people do you know who seem like they breathe success? So every time they speak, success just flows out. Instead of every time they speak, crap comes out. We all have those type of people in our life and we know that they don't supposed to be. So why do you guys think about how many people you actually know that breathe success? I have a personal story that I'm going to tell that goes perfect with the situation. So I wouldn't consider myself super successful. I consider myself on my way to success. I have been successful in certain parts of my life, but I haven't reached my top success as I believe that I can. And some of you guys know me personally, if you're watching this, I work a nine to five and I'm also building my business. I have you guys on YouTube, um, Instagram, Facebook, um, create a TikTok um, website, downloadable stuff, books. Uh, I'm about to start an e-course soon. I wasn't supposed to say that just yet, but it's coming. And it's, a lot of people think it's a lot and it is. However, um, some people can be intimidated by that. And that's one of the reasons why some people are not successful. And I'm going to tell you this story. So before I, so before I met my current boyfriend, um, I was out there in a dating scene and I met this person and, um, he would always have an issue with me working on myself. Which is why I told you guys from the jump, get rid of these people in your life because they don't deserve them. So one day he texted me or whatever and asked me what I was doing. And I told him, you know, just got home from work. I'm about to work a business. But my website, this is before my website was up and everything like that. I was coming up with the concept and everything. And he made a comment to the sort that um, I focus a lot on myself. I self-centered and I don't have time for anybody else true story guys so i told him basically that you know i don't want to be in relations with someone or have a friendship relationship any type of relationship with someone who doesn't see themselves moving on to be success with me and if that's an issue with him well it obviously is an issue with him not with me but if it's an issue with him then he should just move on because i need someone who wants to be at the top with me not at the top top but who wants to gain success and be successful in life with me and if he wasn't about it then he can go ahead and dip out oh so you guys saw me come out a little bit i had to you know get into character however the more the moral of this story is that if you have those people in your life and they are not looking for that success dump them get rid of them and do it now they do not need to be in your life any much longer hindering your success and he gives three reasons why people hinder their success and why some people stay in 95 percent of unsuccessful or failure and the other five percent continue to grow reason number one that differentiates 
the 5% between the 95% is very easy to do. The things that the 95% don't do are easy to do, but they do not do them. So you basically see and just easy things are to do. They're just easy as some not to do. And the top 5% prefers to do the things that the bottom 95% don't do because they know that they're not going to do them. So reason number two, they believe the results are invisible. And this relates to the instant gratification mindset, which I wrote a column on, which I will t which I will share with you guys in the description box. Anywho, they believe that results take far too long to see. And if you don't get the results right now, what's the point of doing them? And this comes with a lot of stuff in life, any type of transformation, any type of journey, you're not gonna see results right away. Let's be honest, it's not gonna happen. Um, But the little tiny things that you do every day makes up really big results, even if you don't see them. So just going to read the quote from page 57 that he shares. But here's the problem back in the present, back here in the present, on day one of week one, all of, all of that is way in the future. We make the right choice, you don't see results, at least not today. And that is the problem in our push button mouse click 24 hours news world. We expect to see results and we expect to see them now. Success is progressive realization of a worthy ideal progressive means success is a process not a destination so if you hear the cliche term that life is a journey not a destination there you go and then the third reason is they seem insignificant and that is because if we do not see results now does it really matter if i don't do it right now does that mean it doesn't matter obviously yes because everything matters Every choice that you do has a consequence. Everything has a cause and effect reaction. And why put off what you can do now, tomorrow? So what you do today matters. What you do every day matters. And he notes that successful people realize and understand that the little choices that they make matter. And because that they choose to do those things seem to make no difference at all in acting of doing them. And they do them over and over and over until the compound effect kicks in. We will be visiting the compound effect book after our next book. So stay tuned to that. I'm really excited for that one, guys. But back on topic, three reasons why the 5% are different from the 95%. And it all comes down to choices and what choice do you want to make today? What choice do you want to follow through with? What effect does that choice have on your future decisions and your future goals? So I have a little challenge for you. My challenge for you is to evaluate your life and look at the people that you need and don't need. So I'm going to explain it this way. Make a list of people who, if you are on your personal journey of whatever journey you are, if you decided to go back to school, if you decided to follow the career of your dreams, if you decided to start over and move to a new city, if you decided to take your health and wellness journey, if you decided to lose weight, if you decided to eat better, if you decided to just do anything to, to enhance your life and become a better person. Make a list of people that's in your life and on the one side, make the people who are encouraging for you, who are in your corner, who have words and affirmation, and then look at, and then make another list of people who keep pointing out to you that things do not happen overnight. It's going to take time. You're not going to see the results right now. What's the point? Anybody who said that to you while you're on the journey or are and kind of unsupportive in general. The ones on the left is going to be the 5%. The ones on the right is going to be the 95%. So make sure you surround yourself with the people that's on the left. That's part of that 5% that you found out about and try to stay away and limit your interactions with the people on the right side that's the 95 percent and that's one way to put yourself around people who support you who love you for you and who want you to be successful and typically when it comes to this people on the five percent are not intimidated by your success because they want to be success too successful to or they already have some type of success in their life whether it's relationship financial academics professional uh wellness fitness they have some type of success in their life where other success doesn't other people's success doesn't Im imitate them intimidate them intimidate them and then on the right hand side 95 percent, the people who keep telling you that you can't do it that it's not worth your time or the people who are portraying their fears onto you 
and they are um, not the type of people that you want to be around. They are intimidated by your success and you don't need to be hindered by anyone who's intimidate, intimidated by you and doing better for yourself. So that is chapter four. Next week, we will be discussing chapter five, chapter six, and have a great week, guys. See you guys one day.